Number one. In this question, you will be asked to talk about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak. Talk about a game, sport, or other group activity that is played in your country. Explain why you think the activity is enjoyable. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number two. In this question, you will be asked to give your opinion about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak. When looking for information for a research project, some students prefer to get their information mainly from the Internet. Others prefer to mainly use printed materials such as books and academic journals. Which do you prefer and why? Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number three. In this question, you will read a short passage about a campus situation and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. The university is considering building a new athletic stadium. Read the article in the student newspaper. You will have 45 seconds to read the article. Begin reading now. Now listen to two students discussing the article.
So what do you think of the university's new plan? Oh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. No. I mean, I can't imagine top students being too thrilled about some of the conditions on this campus. What do you mean? Like the science laboratories having such old, outdated equipment, and the library needing more books, and the student center being so small. I think that the two million could be spent in better places if the university is really serious about achieving its goal. Okay, but what about the other reason for building the stadium? I mean, right now we have so little contact with the town. Yeah, but this won't help relations. Look, people from town hardly ever come to games because our teams always lose, and they're not suddenly going to improve overnight. Besides, adding seats won't make a difference. I mean, if people from town didn't come before, they won't come now just because the place is bigger. The woman expresses her opinion about the university's plan. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number four. In this question, you will read a short passage on an academic subject, and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have thirty seconds to prepare your response and sixty seconds to speak. Now read the passage from a psychology textbook. You have fifty seconds to read the passage. Now listen to part of a lecture on this topic in a psychology class. Let's take an everyday example, an ordinary round plate like you'd find in a kitchen. If you hold the plate directly in front of your face and look at it, what shape do you see? A perfect circle, right? Suppose you tilt the plate to a different angle, to a horizontal position, like you're planning to put food on it. Still a perfect circle? No. The circle is now stretched out, flattened into an oval. Do you conclude the plate has actually changed shape, or that it's a different object, not the same plate? Of course not. It looks different, but we perceive it as still being the same. Here's a different example. This classroom we're in—it's fairly large, right? Now, from up close, from the front row, I appear to be relatively big. 
bigger than if you were in the last row, right? But let's say you're sitting in the front row today, but tomorrow you're sitting in the back row. From back there, I'm going to look smaller, but you don't think I've actually gotten smaller. You don't think you're seeing a different professor, a guy who looks like me except he's smaller. No matter where you are, up close or far away, you understand without even thinking about it that I'm the same size, the same person. Explain what is meant by perceptual constancy using the examples provided by the professor. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number five. In this question, you will listen to a conversation. You will then be asked to talk about the information in the conversation and to give your opinion about the ideas presented. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Now listen to a conversation between two students. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Hmm, not too good. What's wrong? Well, you know how I'm president of the Anthropology Club? Well, I'm supposed to drive everyone in the club to see a special exhibit at the museum tomorrow. My mom said I could borrow her van, you know, so everyone would fit. But unfortunately, it broke down, and it's not going to be repaired in time for the trip. Oh, so what are you going to do? Can you rent a van? Yeah, that's a possibility. It's a little risky for me, though. I've tried to get in touch with the club members, but only four have gotten back to me and said they'd contribute some money to the cost. What about the other members? I don't know. It'd probably be okay with them, too, but that's the risk. I don't know for sure. I, I don't want to get stuck with having to pay for most of the bill. Well, since not everyone's gotten back to you, why don't you just postpone the trip? You know, until your mom's van is repaired. Yeah, I could do that. Though I'm sure everyone would be real disappointed if they show up tomorrow ready to go and find out that we're not going. The speakers discuss two possible solutions to the man's problem. Briefly summarize the problem, then state which solution you recommend and explain why. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep.
Number 6. In this question, you will listen to a short lecture. You will then be asked to summarize important information from the lecture. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Now listen to part of a lecture in a biology class. Now many sea animals, in order to hide from predators, have, over time, develop different kinds of camouflage to help them blend in with their environment and avoid detection by predators. Picture the surface of the seafloor. It's as varied as the land we live on. It's got peaks and valleys, vegetation, uh, rocky areas, and some sea animals have developed permanent colors or shapes to resemble these environmental features. This camouflage helps disguise them from predators by enabling them to blend into a, a specific part of the sea. For instance, take a kind of fish like the leafy sea dragon. Well, the name says it all. It resembles a small green dragon with leaf-like protrusions sticking out like arms. Now, because of its color and shape, it blends in extremely well with green sea plants. So when the leafy sea dragon is swimming through these plants, predators have trouble seeing it. But when it enters other environments without these green plants, its camouflage doesn't work anymore. Now, other sea animals are difficult to spot anywhere in the sea because their type of camouflage enables them to change color. Take the cuttlefish, a fish that's closely related to the squid and octopus. Unlike leafy sea dragons, cuttlefish have not developed any particular shape to hide from predators, but uh, they have a lot more mobility because their camouflage allows them to blend into any environment. Because cuttlefish have shifting pigments that allow them to change color in a matter of seconds. And so they can almost instantaneously match the color of their surroundings. If they're swimming by green sea plants, they'll turn green. And if they're swimming over the brown sea floor, they'll turn brown. Using the examples of the leafy sea dragon and the cuttlefish, Describe two kinds of camouflage and the benefits they provide. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep.